Now we're going to learn how you can code SQL in Microsoft Access. In order to do this, you click the Start button. You click on Microsoft Access. This will going to bring about the database. We're going to pick blank database. We're going to name it in class DB or database. We're going to click Create. Once the database gets created, we're going to click the Create tab. Then we're going to click the Query Design. We will not going to choose a table. Rather, we will going to switch to the SQL view. This is where you can write your SQL statement and you can run it. Once you write your SQL statement, you can click the Run. It will going to be turn, it will turn into a red color exclamation mark. After you run your query, if it's a select statement, it will actually let you view the data. Once you're done viewing the data, you may have to switch your view back to SQL or Design View based on if you're doing QBE or you're doing SQL. In this tutorial, we're going to be mainly learning about the SQL environment and the series of other tutorials that I'm going to be doing in this series. I have covered QBE in other tutorials which you have seen prior to me showing you these. So you can go over those set of tutorials if you want to learn how to do things in QBE because our main thing over here would be to do SQL in the Axis environment. Once you learn how to do those basic SQL statements in Axis, they're pretty much same across the board. You go to SQL Server, you go to MySQL, you go to Oracle, you go to DB2 or any other databases. Wherever there are certain things that are very Axis oriented or Microsoft oriented, I'm going to mention that while we are working on the tutorials and I'm going to tell you how we do it in other databases so that you can use the same set of tutorials to learn SQL for any database. Well, that's all for this tutorial and the next tutorial will actually begin with SQL commands. Thank you for watching.